Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing, are doing well. I will that you all are finding yourselves being very balanced, grounded, and in alignment with your higher self, your spiritual selves. I will that each and every one of you definitely are in a good mind state i know there's been a lot of crazy things going on and beloved it's all distraction as long as you stay grounded in yourself nothing outside of you could pull you into any type of confusion as it is intended everything is everything on my side of the planet beloveds um i've been doing a lot of work on me a lot of the things that I say to you all, I also practice. So I've been working on myself. I ordered a bunch of books. So I've been reading a lot as of late. Um, I've also, you know, been taking the time out to learn like Qigong and Tai Chi, just connecting with my Chi energy, my golden light within. So there's been a lot of, you know, personal changes on my side. You know, this is a seven universal year. That's a very spiritual number. That's also my life path number. So I've been just really called and pulled to do more things uh, that connect me to me, you know, that connects me to my higher self, that allows for me to receive instruction and be able to manifest quickly, you know, whatever it is I desire as I think it. I'm noticing that my manifestations are happening uh, quicker than they have in the past. So um, it could be, you know, a, a couple of reasons as to why, um, you know, the shift that's taking place on the planet. They're saying there's a polar shift. Um, there's just a lot going on, you know, um, but we are electromagnetic beings and whatever happens above, whatever happens, you know, um, at all, you know, in this atmosphere. Uh, it does, you know, directly impact and affect us. Uh, so it would be very, very imperative to, um, you know, take time to meditate, to ground your energy uh, so that you could be able to, you know, use your first eye. Um, as I said, there's so much distraction going on right now, uh, which is why I don't particularly like, you know, keep my ears plugged in all the way. I just keep enough just to hear what's being said and then I just kind of like you know detach from it all or unplug from it because I really don't need my energy being summoned or uh, manipulated in any way and that's truly how um, you know these masterminds really uh, change you know and shift the uh, the energy is by you know manipulating yours those who tune in um, you know, it, it always happens on mass scales, on grand scales, uh, like an award show that they know millions of people are going to tune into, or sports that they know millions of people are going to tune into, or the Grammys that they know millions of people are going to, you know, um, tune into, like the Super Bowl. So those are usually and typically the ways in which they summon um, and manipulate a lot of energy, and they can use that energy channel it into whatever you know whatever they have in their own sick agendas that's what they do so that is the reason why i don't do what everybody does <laughs> you know that's why i'm the only person you know you ever see that meme where it'd be like thousands of people heading in one direction and then it'll be that one person i'm that one person you know what i'm talking about so but um Let's go into the reading. Um, if you are new, welcome, beloveds. Uh, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am clear audience, so you will hear music playing in the background. You may hear me reference a song, name of the song, lyrics within the song, even the name of the artist, maybe the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I am channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards are showing. And it all just kind of blends very beautifully. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be yours. If it doesn't apply, just let it go, beloved. Let it go, let it flow. Let it go, let it, uh, let it go, let it flow. Um, 
my readings are also timeless so whenever this video has found you uh, whenever you felt compelled to click play um, that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so uh, to all of my beautiful souls who are returning you already know it is love is love is love thank you all so much for always showing love I rotate that love back to you infinitely beloved and I'm sending you all peace power and protection all right, we're going to up the ante. We got love and light. That's on lock. But now it's all about peace, power, and protection. So the triple P's. So when I was feeling, um, you know, when I started this reading, when I was, you know, because I have been really just going with the flow of things. I'm not trying to force anything. I like everything to be real. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't real, it ain't right. That's just my motto. Um, and so I really went with the energy energy was like nah it's not time for no readings uh it's time for you to focus on you so that you can be able to provide a clear and concise message you know um i need to be able to identify like i said when a message is strictly for me and when a message is meant for the collective um although i'm saying scorpio we all know everyone has every placement in their chart so this reading can very much you know resonate even if you are a leo a libra um you could have the the scorpio placement in your chart so uh that's why it's very imperative to get to know um your natal chart to get familiar with what planets are in which houses and figuring out how those placements affect you or why you are the way you are it's very imperative to know these things um, so it's really beautiful when we can, you know, blend all of this pertinent information and it gives us a clearer perspective. Like our lens becomes more clear. You have crystal clear vision when you really have, uh, the full, you know, um, picture. So what I was feeling when I first, um, was told that it's time to do a reading, was I heard that, you know, the more you shine, Scorpios, the more you're going to cast shadows. Um, and these shadows are, um, they could be, you know, just projections of yourself uh, showing up in other people that come around. Or these could just be people in general that could be, you know, around you in your cipher. Um, maybe if you work at a job where there's a bunch of haters or, you know, you got some unsavory folks everywhere, in your neighborhood, your building that you live in, your, you know, whatever. Um, you always run into uh, the issue of, you know, someone, you know, along the journey that may project their insecurities or their lack of confidence or their own self-hate, self-doubt, confusion, ignorance onto you. And what I heard, like I said, was the more you shine, <laughs> the more you cast shadows. So I was feeling this sense of like, I was feeling warmth. And I was like, that can only be the sun. <laughs> you know, the sun shining on you really makes you just feel warm sometimes if it shines too much you get hot you can get burned by the light you know what i'm talking about but i feel in this instance you know there's a sense that you all are really really in this state of just self-awareness um you're so confident and you're so unbothered that it bothers and triggers others because we all know that your beautiful energy could irritate other people's demons you know whatever they're you know grappling with within their own selves um that's work they have to do as i said sometimes we can you know cast shadows as well because we have self-doubt uh in certain instances you know or we may lack confidence you know in other areas and so that insecurity can show up in other people who will feed that uh, particular negative mindset. And so if you are shining bright right now, 
and you're feeling, you know, the, 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 the sting of others, or you could just feel like, you know, the, the energy being sent your way and you're just not falling for it the way you may have in the past where you could have gotten triggered, you could have gotten yourself caught up in some sort of argument or disagreement or a debate. Um, you're just not doing it anymore. It just doesn't make sense to even argue with fools because you've realized that nobody, you know, people on the outside aren't going to be able to uh, identify who's the wise one from who's the fool, who's the ass. So you don't participate. I feel like you really have gotten into this space where you're so confident in you, uh, the validation that you may have looked for in the past. Um, you no longer struggle with that. You no longer need that because you realize that isn't you in your best, you know, it, that isn't you like operating from your best self or being your best version of yourself. So there's no more like seeking that type of, uh, you know, approval from others, if you will, um, or, or seeking even, you know, the love, you know, sometimes with Scorpios, because you give so much love, um, you could look for it back in return. And in many instances, nobody can love you quite like a Scorpio can because Scorpios, uh, not even just Scorpios, but water signs in general, um, you tend to be more devoted in that area of, of, of showing emotion and affection. You're more emotionally intelligent, more in tune with your emotions. And so the struggle begins when you're trying to find others that vibrate on that same frequency. And so... I don't feel that is an issue for you anymore because you've learned so much how to love you right that it's fulfilling enough. And so it's like if there are haters, if there are, you know, people conjuring up certain energy to send to you, if there are uh, energy vampires or negative Nancy's or Debbie Downers or anybody trying to throw you off track, um, I feel like you have been so far removed from these individuals or these agendas that it, it doesn't even affect you. It's like almost that saying out of sight, out of mind. Um, it's like you're not looking at these individuals, you're looking past them. So it's like you're vibrating so high that it's like it's nothing <laughs> to you. So the sun is always a very beautiful indication that there are brighter days ahead for, you know, the lack of a better expression or a pun intended. Like there's beautiful rewards and these rewards are coming after dark periods. The sun didn't shine for a while in some of you guys' you know, lives. Like it was very depressing or very um, stressful or very overwhelming depending upon what you were dealing with. But you have persevered through whatever that was. And not only have you persevered, but you kind of found yourselves in the process and you've it's linked you to a more profound purpose. You know, your life is, is purposeful now, whereas before it could have just been something you were just doing day to day not really living it, but just waking up and just going through the same old routine, living a very mundane experience. And now it's like you wake up with a purpose. You know, some of you have discovered what your life purpose, path, mission is. Some of you have been working on this for several years. And now it's like you're starting to see the fruits of your labor, your hard work is paying off and spirit is really, really proud of you. There is a sense of joy, elation, um, even recognition, uh, absolute vitality. Um, it's just a beautiful, strong energy that I'm picking up on with you Scorpios. And to say, you know, that you are chosen is an understatement. Uh, this is something that I feel you all have always known. Uh, maybe from young, you always knew you were different or there was something um, that really struck, 
you know, in your, uh, you know, maybe there was something that really made you feel like you were different than the rest because of perhaps you could see things or you channel things or you were someone who could astral travel or you could, um, you were psychic or maybe you saw, you know, certain spirits, you know, you had that ability. Your eye was open to that regard. Like you could teeter between the physical realm and the spiritual realm. So there was something that was always very special about you. Maybe you had very lucid dreams, you know, um, maybe you're someone who could just really hear your inner voice very loud and it would guide you throughout your life or it has guided you throughout your life. So you've always had like a very um, direct connection to your Christ consciousness and we were tapped into that God frequency. And so this isn't nothing new. Like it's just now coming to light or you're just now finally embracing it. So that's a very profound message. Um, I'm going to end it there because I want to really tap into the cards now and see what comes out. So before we proceed with the read, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning and uh, pay homage to all the beautiful angels, ancestors, and the Orisha spirit. All right. So. I call upon the beautiful elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards, and so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloved. So let's tap in, see what's playing on the playlist. It is 5-5 five, five on the clock, 5-32, that's 10, that reduces to 1. So a brand new beginning. I'm hearing a fresh start in my mind's eye. I'm also hearing, you know, like every ending denotes a new beginning. And as I said, I was picking up on, you know, going through some really cloudy days, some really dark periods in your life. But now you're coming out of that and the sun is shining again. So it's almost like you were going through that dark night of the soul journey, you know, almost like you're going through a tunnel and it's just dark complete pitch black dark until you see that little beacon of light you know just ahead to let you know you're right there at the precipice of something new something different so this is beautiful energy so let's see what we got playing on the playlist beloveds all right if i knew my password to my phone all right let's see what we got so let's go to playlist and my playlist if any of you guys would like to listen to it it's under my um current frequency so we're going to shuffle this see what comes up oh lord let me shut that down all right so what we have playing right now this is uh jill scott featuring paul wall and this is called so gone all right and it says what my mind says so trust your intuition is what i'm hearing i also feel like with so gone just as i said you're so far removed from certain situations that you're no longer allowing people to affect you you're no longer allowing people to trigger you or to um you know distract you you know to take you off course to take you take you off course or take you off your path um, because you're trusting what your mind says. You're not allowing yourselves to be manipulated in any way. Um, you're trusting what your mind says. What my mind says, as she says here, the name of the song, what my mind says, if you see what your mind is telling you, which is your discernment, which is your higher self, which is your intuition, um, it's telling you to stay the course. You know, where your attention goes, energy flows. If you t pay attention to ignorance, 
then it's going to throw you completely off. And I feel like you are wiser. You know, you've learned from past mistakes. It's not as if you've always had this knowledge. I feel like this is something you've learned through a dark period. And it has served you well, beloved. So that's beautiful. So let's tap in. Let's pull out some numerology deck cards. All right. So we have uh, spiritual partnerships on the bottom of the deck. That's powerful. That's the number 927. Breaks down to 9. 9 is associated with that hermit. So the hermit is very much like a grand wizard you know that's how i would define it you know that could be a feminine or masculine energy the wizard knows all he knows all of the secrets um and it's because he's learned you know there's been some major changes um that has taken place in your life which has you know which has been the conduit of these changes which has really been uh the cat catalyst i should say to the changes that you've been making so you know that hermit is a wizard and he knows that the answers that he or she is seeking are found within so you've taken the necessary time to connect with your higher self as i said that's that christ consciousness that's that you know that god frequency meditating um reading researching doing things that are going to elevate you you know even researching the metaphysical information or occult information um documents you know like biblical or spiritual documents maybe you were seated you know um you know sitting at the feet of you know uh master teachers you know great elders that that have kind of like ushered you in you know so there's this sense of of like being self-learned being self-aware um, and looking back in awareness to see how far you've come to see, you know, to even take note, you know, uh, an inventory of where you've come from, of what you've experienced. Um, and this is really what's triggering the change because now you are, you know, coming into a very beautiful uh, union. This could be a partnership. Uh, if you have a business, it could be a spiritual career, it could be a lover, it could be, you know, connecting with your soul tribe or other like minds, um, your soul family. Uh, but this is a very powerful and very uh, sacred connection that I feel uh, you are developing um here in the near future and this is going to change your life i feel because you've changed changed yourself you know especially your thought process your ideologies your belief systems um there's been you know a lot of change psych you know in your psyche so now you're attracting other like minds because when you change your mind your energy also change changes uh, that's why it's really imperative to speak positively on yourselves to start developing you know the habit of speaking those powerful affirmations uh, to yourselves on a daily basis because the more re you repeat that the more your subconscious um, you know, the, the more your subconscious uh, holds on to that information and you start to become that. You start to be whatever you your your I am statement is. And it's a beautiful energy. And to see this spiritual partnership, it just shows that you've grown spiritually. You have evolved. You're in alignment. Um, you know, and, and spirit was like just like this, this uh, you know, energy here on the screen. All of the chakras are, are, you know, glowing because they've been unblocked. You know, this is complete uh, bliss, being connected, being tapped in, tuned in to the frequency. That's beautiful energy. Um, and so let's see what we have in the split. So look at that. We have the 27 spiritual partnership, and then we have 66 healing. And so if you've been here before, you know, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's the energy of who or what you are attracting to you. So it's like you are mirroring the energy of either someone else or something else. And so it's due in part to you healing. And that 12, that 6 and 6 reduces to 12, which reduces to 3. So you're healing from past pain, wounds, and traumas. Healing from, you know, like I said, whatever you've experienced in that dark night of the soul journey, whatever karmic lessons you have had to learn, whatever karmic cycles 
goals you've had to complete. Um, I definitely am getting a sense of like, you know, you taking the necessary time to heal. Um, and this has helped you to grow uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, uh, personally, you have evolved. And so you've evolved into you know, if you're a feminine energy into that empress, uh, someone who is a master manifester, very powerful, someone who's self-aware, confident, strong, determined, you know, just very, very powerful energy, a creative, you know, this is someone who births new life, new ideas, new ways of thinking. Um, and they know their worth. You know, if you're masculine, same thing is applicable uh, to the emperor. So this is beautiful energy because it shows that, you know, you were led, you know, you followed intuition just as that song, What My Mind Says. Um, it's like you followed your own intuition, your own gut instinct. Um, you followed, uh, you know, that that inner knowing. You know that okay healing is required here because even that three is associated with your solar plexus and your solar plexus is really like you know your stomach you know uh, it's you know your stomach acts as a second brain and so that's where your your you know you get those instincts um, you know your stomach may you know it can it can fall uh, it could get you know they say they call it butterflies um, you could get those feelings and sensations it starts a lot of times in your gut that's that gut instinct and so I feel like that's what you listen to that gut instinct your intuition that six is associated with the first die so that's you using intuition using discernment and by you doing that you have ascended you have elevated uh, to this grand master teacher yourself so many of you could have a very um, successful or lucrative uh, spiritual career um, you know perhaps the people you meet and partner up with these will be lifelong um, connections you know a lifelong partnership you will be meeting uh, people that are on your frequency so that's very beautiful I love that and this is also you know could include love uh, because that three could be someone from your past that you're familiar with because uh, six six is also you know the six is associated with your first eye but it's also the lovers in traditional tarot and because it says six six I'm getting the lovers and I'm also getting even the six of cups uh, I'm getting the six of wands um, I'm even seeing like the six of swords you know victory um, because you moved ahead or you've you've moved along you've moved on um, and this has led to some sort of breakthrough or victory this has even led to your own um, you know uh, spiritual breakthrough you know your own uh, rebirth you know you've regenerated yourself the Sun is so beautiful right now it's like a golden yellow and it's shining so brightly um, in the you know in this room and it's very pretty this is good um, sun gazing sun like you don't want it when it's at its peak so in the a.m. if you are like me like I like the sun gaze every now and then I haven't been doing it lately um, but when I do it's like you you do it when the Sun is just rising because that golden uh, yellow is the color that's what you really want to be able to gaze into when it gets too bright when it starts looking like real kind of like white and hazy that's that's not the Sun you want to Sun gaze in but this right here is perfect Sun to gaze in it's like that beautiful golden but I digress so let's tap in so let's see what's coming in for my beautiful Scorpio collective energy there goes that three that Sun that's shining I was just speaking to Sun shining in my face and there goes the Sun right there that yellow is very very luminous very beautiful energy speaks to strength vitality it's also the empress energy the creative mind you know that creative that could also be a masculine in a very creative space um, we all you know have that uh, that creative energy whenever you're doing anything um, you're creating you know if you're uh, writing a story you're creating that's a creative energy um, if you're creating a song, making music, that's a creative energy. If you're uh, working on, a, you know, art gallery, if you're an artist, you know, that's a creative energy. You're tapping in to that divine feminine and divine masculine energy, which is all of our divinities, you know. And our job here is to discover, uh, not only discover, but unpack, you know, to, to unwrap, I should say, the gifts 
that we've all been blessed with, you know. So let's tap in, beloveds. What messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpio? I may have a message of love and a message of light. Beautiful spirit. I may have a message of love and a message of light. So spiritual partnership and that 66 healing card was on the split. So we're going to see what we have come out for the overall energy for my beautiful Scorpios. And we have um, Che Noir, and this is called Bloody Sword. So that's very powerful. So a bloody sword, this could be you, you know, because I see the Queen of Swords when I hear Bloody Sword for some reason. I'm seeing like the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords takes no short. She She's learned, you know, unfortunately through getting backstabbed to never allow anyone to insult her intelligence. Um, and so she cuts what no longer serves her off completely. Um, I'm hearing off with your head. I'm hearing, you know, like you're not making the cuts basically. You know, you have to cut off what no longer serves you or else that's dead weight that you're carrying around and you will never be able to ascend. It will only weigh you down. So that's the energy. You've cut something off. Bloody sword is saying that there was some fights, arguments, backstabbing. Um, a bloody sword means that blood was shed. So there could have been really like nasty um, circumstances that have happened in your past with certain individuals. Uh, this could even be like a pierced heart. We just saw healing uh, and I initially picked up on that three of swords energy. So the, the train is going by. So that's a message for someone. I feel this distance from whomever because I was picking up on like the six of cups with that 66. Uh, so, you know, somebody definitely could have hurt you or there could have been a lot of, of, of traumatic circumstances occur in your past and I feel that's what you are healing from um, that's what you've healed from I don't even feel like you're still healing I feel like you've healed from it you've made peace with whatever has taken place and what's sticking out to me I didn't even notice this but on this video there's like little butterflies and so butterflies are very uh, indicative of transformation regeneration you know um, very startling metamorphosis is something you all have been through so we have 67 here physical activity this is the overall energy and so with physical activity and this is 67 that reduces to 13 and so I feel like you know just as I was speaking about transformation and regeneration this number 13 pops out which is the death card and the death card is your energy 13 is associated with the death card so that really is saying that you all have gone through enormous change and there has had to be a death of the old version of you um, which is why those butterflies were really sticking out to me because as I said the butterflies they go through you know this startling metamorphosis they start off as you know like this this lava and then they morph into this this uh, this cocoon you know they're in this little cocoon or whatever this nest and then they come out just beautiful as a butterfly just vibrant colors and they're able to fly and they're able to do the things they weren't able to do when they were in that you know that 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 um you know when they were in the gestation period i guess you could call it so it's like it's very beautiful to see just how much you've evolved you've tra you've completely changed and what else is sticking out are these beautiful um lotus uh, lotus flowers that are floating um, on the ocean there's a lot of messages to decode in this one video you know screenshot here but those lotus flowers um, if you know how a lotus flower grows it actually grows in all three elements I mean in you know in all of the elements like in uh, it grows in the earth you know in the ground and the so you know in the soil and the the uh, oceans floor uh but then it's it's also in the water you know that's that water element and then the air element it, it opens it blossoms in the air element so this is a, this is the process it's like there's been a very um very profound uh transformative 
um, cycle that you all have been going through. And that's why I was feeling like the sun was shining bright because it's as if like there is change, you know, there is something beautiful, something that's going to bring complete joy and elation here. It's a new beginning, a new start. Uh, when we started the reading, it reduced to one, it was a 10. And as I said, every 10 denotes a new beginning, uh, but every ending, excuse me, denotes a new beginning. And so something that was very painful, um, it's leading to this very beautiful, uh, this very beautiful um, new start that you're having. And I see with physical activity, you've been very, very active. You know, that 67 reduces to 13, as I said. So that's the death of the old you and the birthing, the emergence of this new version of yourself that's completely unbothered, that completely can see. It's like you're, you're, you could see what people are going. You, it's just like your, your intuition right now, Scorpios, is super amplified and I feel it has a lot to do with it being a seven universal year because I feel not only are you uh, super amplified I just feel like anybody whose first eye is open they're they're able to pick up on things quicker you know than anyone else that's not really you know unplugged from the maw of tricks so it's like I feel like you because you're naturally psychic and, 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 and intuitives I feel that there is um, just a, a more um, more uh, amplified ability that you have to to just pick up on people's BS. Your BS monitor is like it's it's, it's like off the the scale. It's off the meter, you know. And and you that's why you're not falling for the okie doke. That's why you're not allowing um, you know the negativity in. It's like you're you have like complete guard boundaries you're you're completely protecting your peace and not allowing any type of nonsense even if it was the same people that could always trigger you um you know they could have been a, a mother uh, could have been a father could have been a sibling maybe even you know someone you were in a relationship with maybe even a friend this person whomever that was they just constantly had some sort of ability to just like push your buttons pardon me and now that button has magically disappeared there you no longer have a button to push and that's triggering to them now you know because you're no longer triggered by their antics so this is powerful and it's because you've been working your asses off to ensure that you don't fall back into you know that old mindset you know that lack mindset that that woe is me or that and not that you were that but just someone who was overcompensating or um, didn't really know their value or didn't really um, create the necessary boundaries you know that could read to others as you know a lack of self-love and respect and integrity for yourself if they're so you know easily able to uh, push your buttons or to you know to to um, manipulate you if you will so this is powerful energy because that 13 reduces to 4 and 4 is the Emperor so we saw the Empress number 3 now we see the Empress number so it's still that same energy of being completely self-aware when you're self-aware and you know who you are you're not trying to prove anything to anyone because you know who you are you don't need anyone's validation you don't need anyone's approval because damn it you are an emperor you're an empress you know what I'm saying they got to come to you to get approvals they got to get the yay the or nay from you so that's the energy you're giving off like confidence complete confidence complete assertiveness complete wise dome just strong strength beauty just attractive this this new energy is very attractive as well i also feel like love could potentially be coming in um because that four is associated with the heart chakra um, but it's also just saying that you've grown emotionally uh very emotionally intelligent this oh my goodness brilliant Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got to look at this really quick. This is gorgeous. Oh man, I'm sorry. But yeah, so you're emotionally intelligent, in tune, in touch, very connected, and your heart chakra is wide opened. 
okay so if your heart ch chakra is wide opened then that means that you're going to attract what you are now I feel that you're no longer you know uh, feeling any type of um, you know weight you know um, or baggage from any past experience that did not happen or you know result in the way that you may have foreseen in the past it's like you've made peace with that ex you know that may have dipped out with a friend or that may have gotten with a family member or that may have gotten somebody else pregnant or that may have been cheating you know behind the scenes or you know whatever it's like you've gotten over that it's like you're finally at peace you're no longer sweating it it's like somebody could bring it up and you don't feel your blood boiling it's just like okay this is like water under the bridge beloved so it's like this has allowed for you to now open your heart chakra because you're no longer holding on to anything that could potentially bring you back what you just was dealing with because when you don't heal from certain traumas um you could repeat and duplicate same mistakes over and over and over and you could keep attracting the same person to you because you're the same person <laughs> only when you change and when you uh create you know or not even create but regenerate um and emerge as someone different after a death after some sort of transformation that is when you can now attract someone new because you're new your energy doesn't lie beloved so that's that's the thing we all need to to realize is like if you're not past something it's going to keep on showing up until you are not bothered, you know, and that's exactly what I was feeling in the beginning of the reading. So let's tap in, beloved. So we have individuality here. So codependencies, you know, attachments. We're about to pull the energy for, you know, whom or what you're attracting to you. And we have individuality. So this is this could be someone who. I feel has had to learn to stand alone, to stand erect, to be independent because maybe perhaps there was a lot of codependency, some sort of addictions even, maybe afflictions, maybe of uh, some confusion, you know, um, as to one's own ability, uh, being stuck at a fork in the road, wanting something other than what you have. And so now there's this confusion and maybe someone realized being alone has enabled their ability to see things clearer without feeling the sense of obligation, without feeling the sense of being pulled and tugged and, you know, in a different direction than what, what your heart may be pulling and tugging you into. So this is that individuality who, you know, someone's realized or discovered like, their independence is that foundation that they've always been searching for because that's the foundation for them to finally know what it is to be happy when they're alone because now you have that opportunity to kind of work out those things that you didn't really know about like what do I like <laughs> what don't I like because you always got somebody else that you have to consider in the picture if you're in a relationship so when you are alone you have time to figure the things out that you never even, you know, pondered on. Like, what do I like? What don't I like? What is my love language? Some people have been settling for so long. And that is the reason why being alone, especially if you've been in a relationship for long periods of time. Most of us have been in relationships five plus years. Some people may have had the longest duration about three years tops. That's still a long time to be in a connection or in some sort of partnership or serious relationship with someone else. Because the longer you're in that partnership, the more, you know, um, you, you, you kind of start to... Uh, detach from yourself because now you're showing up in this relationship and you're uh attempting to be what that relationship what you may feel you need to be in that relationship if that makes sense so it's like you're showing up in the relationship as what you think you're supposed to be whereas who you are singular as a single person um you're not really focusing on that even though we should still be nurturing ourselves individually and dependent um, you know, and independent of a connection, a relationship, 
uh, because that's a part of self-love, self-worth, self-care. And so this is what I feel this person or whomever uh, you're attracting, whatever you're attracting is like, because there's been the work on the self, now there is a coming together of two. You got to be solid within yourself. These ones denote, you know, solidarity, you know, being erect, standing erect, standing, you know, firm and perpendicular in your square. Um, this speaks to healing, getting back to one, getting back to the self, nurturing the self, healing that self, balancing oneself. And, and that's where, you know, the double numbers come in because I feel like not only have you've been doing this work but now as i said you are mirroring the energy of someone else that is mirroring yours even 13 you know um with that transformation it's like someone has almost watched from a distance you know this is like somebody who could have been watching your your transformation and have been holding on to you because i also see like the four of pentacles somebody that's kind of like carrying you around in their spirit uh but there's no communication because you're coming off very guarded because you've been like, you know, on, on that four swords energy, recovering, recuperating, rejuvenating yourself. So there's no communication. If you uh, think of what the traditional tarot um, uh, uh, four of swords card looks like, it's, uh, you know, an energy laying down or lying down and there's like a sword, you know, three swords on the wall and then there's one sword right by the bedpost. Um, and so there's a lot of reflection. There's a lot of introspection. There's no action being taken. And so that could be why someone said, okay, well, they're working on themselves. Let me work on myself. And perhaps by the time you both come into union, whoever this is, you both will be so solid, just like the 66 healing card showed that you and whoever you're attracting have both been working on yourselves and you've both been led. This is like your angels and your guides. Um, you know, kind of conspiring behind the scenes. Maybe this is, as we saw in the very beginning, a very spiritual, sacred connection, which is why the angels are overseeing this union, which is why your person has been mirroring you the whole way. Because uh, we saw a couple of mirrored numbers, um, double numbers rather, with that 66 healing, and now we see this 11 uh, individuality. So your person, if this is your person that I'm picking up on, is obviously working on themselves and I feel like not only is this a uh, person that's coming in with love interest but I feel like this is someone that you could develop uh, such a very profound connection and union with that it develops into like a, a, a partnership uh, business career like spiritual I feel spiritual because not only do you have uh, some you know, message. You you're here to to help heal the collective, and I feel whoever this person is is as well. And so collectively, to, together, I should say, um, you both will provide uh, whatever this 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 um, necessary uh, healing is on the collective. You know, so that's very profound. So let's tap in. So who is this person that our beautiful Scorpios? are retracting to them. May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit? This is going to be a long one. I'm going to give you a forewarning now. This is going to be a deep dive. I feel like I got a lot of messages because it's been a while. So we have change here on the bottom of the deck. And there's two cards that flew out. And we see that three, Empress Energy, Sun Shining Bright. Being in a very creative mode, someone's had an epiphany is what I'm hearing. They're also feeling like they want to um return you know but perhaps their pride they had some sort of ego death recently which has allowed for them to see their you know see what see beyond the veil because this three and this 19 reduces to four and remember we have four here also because that 13 reduces to four so see that you got 67 which is one three and then you have three one you know, anything going into nine is always going to be nine. So, you know, this three and this nine is literally um, 13. And so that reduces to not, um, to three, you know. So I, I said this three and this nine. This three and this nine, you know what I mean. I'm not going to go into it. But yeah, this three and one reduces to four, you know. So this is what that is. So that four and this four. So that four and four is showing like, Definitely someone is um, 
having an ego death because I'm seeing with the four and four that reduces to eight. Eight is uh, giving me like the eight of swords. Someone could be up in their head, confused and conflicted. And we have D'Angelo. And this is, um, you know, Jones in my bones. So someone could be having some sort of epiphany that you are indeed a star. You're shining bright. Um, with this creativity, they see you as an empress. This is someone whose ego, like they didn't see your worth and value. And now it's just all too evident, all too clear. It's obvious, like who you are. And it's like they've had this epiphany. Um, and the epiphany has led them to, to like, you know, start, start, uh, stepping their game up, you know, which is why they are, you know, having this ego death because whatever it was that they were doing, it's like, they're feeling like they've you know, kind of missed out on an opportunity because I'm getting a four of cups, you know, like they feel like they've missed some sort of window of opportunity. And it was due obviously to pride and being stubborn and um, a little overzealous. Uh, we have Bilal featuring most deaf in common. Um, and this is called reminisce. So this person could really be like kind of reminiscing on what could have happened uh, between the two of you because there obviously was no effort on their part because they was feeling themselves smelling themselves thinking the ish don't you know they ish don't stink and that's why pride is here uh, my, you gotta excuse the noise in my back in the background my son is doing my son thing um, so there was definitely an ego death here um, doing part to someone's just being very big headed and egoic here and I feel it's because they have had some sort of illumination as to whatever it is that they were trying to deny. I'm hearing denial, uh, especially with this reminisce playing. It's like someone is thinking back, you know, there's something like they're reflecting back upon, um, which is pretty much what the Four of Cups is. If you think of that card in traditional tarot, there is literally a hand coming from the heavens, um, you know, a hand coming from source, I should say, uh, handing a full Ace of Cups. and. That person is just sitting there with their arms crossed like, you know, like they don't realize, um, you know, the window of opportunity could close. So now that they've realized this, there's like this um, sudden feeling of, wow, you know, not only do I love uh, this Scorpio, not only am I starting to feel, you know, my heart beating fast when I think of them, when I reminisce, when I'm, you know, it, it's like now I realize like I miss that opportunity that window of opportunity you know because that four is associated with the heart chakra this is someone who finally realized they love you like this is the clarity you know this is the epiphany that someone is having and it's leading them to you know definitely um you know checking their ego you know checking the ego at the door so to speak and there's going to be change. I feel the change is like maybe there's going to be communication. Because as I said, when the train passed, like there could be some sort of distance, emotional, mental, physical distance. They could live in a completely different state, a different borough. If you live in, you know, a spot where, where there are boroughs, they could be in a different town, county. Um, but there's distance. There could be uh, enough distance where you may have to take a train ride um, or drive or something to that um you know, to that extent, but there's absolutely, uh, this person is, is really like reminiscing. Um, and there may be some communication which could change, um, you know, the direction of this connection if possible. It's, you know, anything is possible. Um, but remember what I said, key word is you are attracting what you are. Uh, and for those who I was picking up on in the beginning of the reading, um, you boss material right now, like you on your empress, emperor, divine feminine, divine masculine energy right now. So whatever and whomever you're attracting, trust and believe they're on that same frequency, beloved. Um, and you know, there, there's going to be a lot of, 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 a lot of hate, you know, a lot of jealousy. Uh, it could come from, you know, both people that you know and don't. Because these this could also come from whomever you're attracting. It could come from their side. You know, anybody hating on someone in a union, it's going to affect that whole union. So whether the hate is coming from your side of, of uh, the spectrum, Scorpio, where the people in your cipher are hating, like exes or family members or friends, it's going to affect that that union. 
or it could be whoever you're attracting they could have some folks in their cipher that are hating on them and not wanting them to leave or to move on and that could cause uh you know whatever that um you know negative low vibrational energy also so with this change i do feel someone really truly wants to change the dynamic of the connection they are not happy with where things are um and as i said this is someone that holds on to you uh this is someone that's very much um in tune with how intuitive you are and so i really feel like this is someone that does send you messages telepathically or intuitively this is someone who has also been in a very studious energy learning and healing grounding themselves learning to meditate you know this is someone who's been through a lot of challenges as well and i feel like how they feel about you is you've evolved you are no longer the same person and that's exactly what i was picking up on that five is associated with the hierophant this person could very much see marriage commitment ceremony you know building a legacy um cultivating with you a family a business you know um nurturing you know being being protective a provider being maternal or paternal uh they could see you know creating um with you you know creating building a future building a life this is something that this person has recently learned um and they're also seeing and appreciating your change you know as i said somebody could have truly been watching you um which has triggered them or you know encouraged or inspired them to want to change and how they feel about you we're about to pull that card and we have this change so they don't know if you've changed so much that you've left them um behind um because this could be someone that you know like a secret admirer um this could be like a former you know associate friend somebody you knew from work somebody you knew from an old neighborhood somebody you could have grew up with um but i just feel like whoever this is this is somebody that's definitely like on the same vibration and frequency and we have um slim village i said slim slum village playing and this is called fantastic so whoever this is i do feel like you know that they really think positively about you like they feel like you're fantastic um i feel like they're also in the slums you know like because of the lack of communication because as i said i feel like this is that person that really feels um you know like there's a missed opportunity here so let's tap in how does this person our beautiful scorpios are attracting to them feel about them may have a message of love and light this is definitely a divine masculine i'll tell you that or a divine feminine and so i'm only taking a card that flew in the upright the others flew down didn't i say you guys are going to have a very uh lucrative uh very prosperous spiritual career and whoever this is i feel like you too are going to go into business like your union is not solely about love this is deeper than love this is about um as i said healing the collective you know helping to awaken the collective helping to awaken souls like, I just feel like you're here to be a vessel. You're here. I keep hearing vessel, you know. Um, but with this timeout, yep, this is what they saw. That with the, how they feel about you is you have put them in timeout, but you've also taken, you know, the necessary time out to make the necessary changes that they can see clear as day and that they admire. It's like they realize, like, what you did, um, because this 37 reduces to 10, which reduces to one after some painful ending after a karmic cycle after you completed some sort of karmic lesson you took the necessary time out that was needed for you to recover for you to heal for you to regenerate or rejuvenate your spirit to get back into yourself to figure out who you are remember when I showed you the 11 and it said individuality and I said you have to get back to one and that's what this is you took the time out to heal as I said earlier like when you're in a relationship and it's toxic the first thing you have to do after you part ways with that person is you need to be alone for a while 
and you need to be alone for a couple of years not just a couple months or a year and just jump right back into the dating pool it takes years to heal from trauma it takes years to to cut karmic cords and generational curses the only way you could do that is if you can identify the work that's necessary that's needed that's required and when you got somebody in your ear and like I said and you're divvying out your time to all these different things it, it, it pulls away from the time you need to be um, you know the quality time you need uh, to have with yourself but you did just that you, you you really created a safe space a sacred space you started connecting to yourself your higher self you may have started to um, really develop relationships with your spirit team your angels your ancestors but you devoted the necessary time to gain that that inner standing that omni standing that overstanding and you received the downloads the divine interventions the transmissions and that's what's giving you this opportunity now to move forward with that confidence with that sense of of clarity because remember what I said nine is the highest number of change and this is the change you embarking on that change you know this is like that ace of wands almost not only is it a new start but it's a start that you are um, you know setting the intention on because you have figured out or identified you know or strategize what it is that you desire you know you took that internal self audit like the like the hermit you know that's why the hermit goes into the cave to quiet all the noise of the outside world uh, so that he can hear his self so that he can hear his higher self so that he can consult with his higher self you know and so we have slim thug and this is called peaceful and this is where you found your peace this is that grounded balance and in alignment energy you know the one you see how all of the chakras it looks like the number one they're all aligned I'm talking about on the screen there and so that's one that puts you in a space of centeredness that connects you that's like a direct line you know to spirit to source to Christ consciousness to God frequency I was speaking about you know sun gazing earlier that also helps to decalcify your pineal gland so that you also can you know be more intuitive and discerning so it's a very beautiful energy but you have you know what's hidden is there is a spiritual career I'm hearing is gonna take off it's it's gonna take off your gifts and when you come into this union with whomever this is because we have four and four so I feel like this is something some of you all could have been praying for or hoping for someone definitely sees you as a wish fulfillment but I feel like there's some news that is like it's unexpected and it and what's being conveyed and expressed is that someone sees you as a wish fulfillment because this four and this four is eight eight to me always looks like you know the infinity symbol which tells me there's an infinite infinite possibilities you know but it also means forward movement to me you know and so someone's absolutely coming toward you you know this is that eight of wands actions coming in quickly um, it's also I'm seeing like a, a shooting star you know because that's where I, I always feel like someone's prayed and wished and hoped and and held on to that hope and now with that one they see you as the wish fulfillment you've been minding your own you know you've been taking that time out to love you you know because the nine I'm getting the nine of cups but I'm also getting the nine like the hermit but the nine of cups is also all about self-love you walked away from something or someone or you know in the past that didn't value you and now like I said you're filling your own cup you 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 feel fulfilled within yourself because you healed thyself enough to love thyself and now that you love that self, you know that self, you know your worth, you know your value. And as I said, when you know who you are and you love yourself, you will attract someone on that same wavelength and frequency. And so that's why with the spiritual career, I feel like not only are you coming into, you know, that spiritual partnership in terms of perhaps love, because I see this person does love you, but I also feel like it's 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 more uh, profound. It's It's more sacred. It's a sacred connection that you're coming into. That's beautiful. So what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios? They have a message of love and a message of light spirit. What is hidden in the energy? Wow. Okay. 
Do I need to take all... This is like a gazillion cards. I'm not going to take all these. I'm going to put these back. I don't even want to look at them. Bang, bang, boogie the cards. And with this peaceful, I feel like this is someone that's going to bring peace in your life because they're going to be so devoted and so committed that you're not... I'm just going to cut the deck again just to, you know, get some new energy on the cards. So um, bottom of the deck is the uh, what's hidden. And we have teaching and learning. So what did I say? You're teaching someone. They're becoming more inspired. I feel like they're also finding peace. You know, they're finding peace in the fact that, you know, that they are taking the time to work on themselves. I also feel like they feel you are their peace. You know, like you are, you, you, you ground them. You're like home to them, you know, like they feel nurtured, they feel cared for, they feel loved. That's what Scorpios do, water signs in general, as I said in the beginning of the reading, like you're emotionally intelligent. So you love, you know, you love the people around you, you nurture them, you protective, you know, just like a big mama would be, you know. And so this person has learned tremendously, you know, just through watching you, just by watching you. Because you have been a ray of light. If you look in this symbol here, you know, this symbol, ge geometric symbol here is yellow. And this one is blue. Um, excuse me, that's green. So this person is really realizing, like, you know, how much they love you. You know, they, they really care. Because that 57 breaks down to 12, which is 3. So this is someone that does want to reunite, reconnect. Um, because maybe there was a sense of uh, disconnect. Maybe you lost contact. Like I said, this could be someone that you know already, someone you're familiar with, whether in this lifetime or a former lifetime, really. But whoever this is, this is someone, as I said, was matching your vibration, matching your fly. You healing? Okay, I'm going to go heal. You working on yourself? I'm going to work on myself. You're growing? I'm going to grow, you know? You're, you've you've like gotten rid of, of false identities, belief systems, ideologies. I'm going to get rid of this... Ego. I'm going to have an ego death. It's like they're literally mirroring you throughout the whole reading. This is powerful. So this person's secretly learning, privately learning. And look what we have on the bottom of the deck. Another, uh, you know, another um, double number, 8-8. Eight, eight. So you both have learned from karmic lessons. And I feel like that's why I was picking up. You're going to have a very, like, prosperous spiritual career with someone that is... Your beloved, you know, you both have earned it. It's as if you're being rewarded. This 8-8 eight, eight is showing that you are going to have a plethora of emotional fulfillment. This is all pink. Pink deals with the heart chakra. So you will be not only emotionally fulfilled and elated, but you feel I feel you will also be financially fulfilled and elated. You will be spiritually full, you know. This is really a beautiful card because it shows that karmic debts have been paid off. And so you are going to reap what you sow. All of your hard work is paying off. The 16 breaks down, the 8, 8 breaks down the 16, which is 7. So you're, everything that you've worked hard for, it's coming into fruition. It's like the seeds you've sowed in good faith, it's like you're going to see that work pay off. I'm getting the 7 of Pentacles. And I'm also seeing like the seven, the chariot, you know, the seven is also the crown. So it's like by you trusting your intuition and not allowing anybody to manipulate your energy or to confuse you or to gaslight you or to play you for Boo Boo the Fool and you followed your own gut instinct and your own inner wisdom, it has led to this beautiful euphoric place where you are completely unbothered by the actions of those around you because you've learned that you know you 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 needn't focus on what doesn't you know what doesn't serve you you know that that like you needn't even engage in anything or anyone any habits any any um you needn't consume things that aren't uh sustenance to your to your soul to your spirit you know, even if it's like what you're listening to, whether it be people's nonsense, their lies, their trickery, their games, whether it's what you're watching, if you're just watching a bunch of nonsense on TV, what, what you're ingesting, it's like you, you've completely disengaged in that, that 
that uh, habit, you know, and you're now more mindful, you know, of who and what you allow in your in your vibration and your energy. This is beautiful. And that's why you're being rewarded. You know, you're being rewarded for the hard work. You're being rewarded because you did your due diligence. You did the work. You persevered through everything that you've experienced. And and not only were, you know, was this person that's kind of like in the background, you know, because um, this is your energy as well with teaching and learning. I feel like you've absolutely have been like, you know, the teacher. But there were instances where you were both. You were the teacher and the student, whether you realized it or not, because I feel someone has been keeping tabs and watching you from a distance. As I said, I'm getting straight like, um, you know, secret admirer vibes. And we have um, Erica Badu, window seat. So look at that window seat. Somebody is watching when you're sitting at a window. When you, you know, if you're on a plane, we say we want the window seat because you could look out and, and see the skies and the, the clouds. And, you know, you have a beautiful aerial view of everything so the window seat is how you're able to see so someone is definitely watching from a distance you know with window seat i'm definitely getting like you know someone may travel to see you someone may gift you with a trip you know um when they come in that could be like their their spiel like you know i want to take you on a trip you know like just to show you know maybe they're coming in very very um dedicated and they want to show you how dedicated they are and someone may literally gift you with some, you know, trip on the other side of the world. You know, very beautiful energy I'm picking up. But this is like, it's, it's, it's like, you know, you're able to do that because you, you have abundance. You have uh, opulence. There's, there's material and spiritual prosperity is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. And this is a beautiful energy. And I feel both of you are deserving of this abundance. This is being granted to the both of you for your services. That's what I'm hearing in my mind. Thank you, spirit. That's beautiful. So what is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and light? Thank you, spirit. This one is kind of like doing peekaboo. So I want to see what that is. See that? Look at that. It wanted to. I didn't know what that was. So this one wanted to show. So your outcome is you're absolutely going to receive some sort of blessing. This is like a miracle, a wish fulfillment. This is something that you've been praying for. This is something you've set intention on and it's coming. It's manifesting. This is going to bring so much happiness, so much joy. And look at that, another 44. So this is literally 888. And 888 is another number of abundance, is another number of prosperity because that 44 reduces to 8. So I feel like someone you know, just as I said, with environment. And remember, we had four here and four there. And so I was picking up like this is someone that you're familiar with. And that's what this environment card is showing. Because this could be someone, as I said, that you've grown up with. Someone that you could have worked with. Maybe this is someone you know from your neighborhood. Uh, someone that lives in your neighborhood currently. Uh, but this is a familiar energy. I'm also getting a sense of someone that wants to come in, as I said. And really is committed to devoting time and energy to this connection. So they're willing to come in and put forth the work, the effort. They want to build an alliance. They want to partner with you. This is going to make for a very, like, this is what you call power couple vibes. Um, and, and again, these double numbers, not only, you know, was is that 8-8 eight, eight here, excuse me, <clears throat> showing the great um, healing process that you both had to endure to achieve now you know receive I should say these rewards and and blessings but there's also this sense of emotional intelligence and as I said you match what you are you know you're going to attract what you are your heart chakra is completely opened and so is that person that you are attracting to you as I said you're gonna attract someone that's healthy you're not gonna attract some old da -dun -da -dun that's still playing games Unless you still carrying baggage, you know, if you carrying baggage and you still ain't past the past, you know, you still haven't gotten past the past then potential of you attracting the same person in a different with a different face is very, like high. The stakes is high, beloved. So that's why it's very imperative to do your work. Do your work. Never mind what everybody else got going on. Never mind what the TV's telling you. Never mind. Never mind. Go within. Ground yourselves. Some of you all need to start meditating. You know, don't wake up and reach for your phone first thing in the a.m. 
take the time to connect with yourself to ground your energy thank source for waking you up another day you know give give you know give acknowledgement and and pay homage to source for blessing you with the gift of life like do things that are going to really change your vibration for that day and speak positive affirmations you know write a list and have them somewhere next to your bed post where you can recite these affirmations so that you can change your mindset but this is powerful maybe some of you all have already done that and I'm preaching to the choir yet again but this is beautiful energy so the bottom of the deck look at that what did I say wish fulfillment beloved it says follow your dreams I feel someone is coming towards you because they realize you're like a dream come true you're really like that one that got away I'm also feeling like you all have you know become very much aware of what your life purpose past past uh, path and mission is your soul's purpose path and mission and that's what you all are now doing you're not allowing yourselves to be boggled down by anything you're living your truth well, this is a beautiful beautiful reading so far man so let's tap in this is a deep dive beloveds we already one hour 15 minutes in let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck so what did I say we got somebody strategizing planning preparing trying to figure out how to come towards you only somebody watching you would have to do this, you know. Otherwise, if it's just like you just bump into them, you know, on the humble, it's, it's just like, oh, hey, how are you? And you just spark a conversation. But only someone that knows you already or has history is going to try to strategize a plan, you know. It's going to try to say like, oh, you know, let me see what, what, what will pique Scorpio's interest. But this is someone who's getting advice from source because you see that little feather some of you all could also be um you know maybe in the past like during your transformative time you were like finding feathers everywhere like you know and it was just a sign that you were on the right path it was a sign that your you know your angels and your guides were protecting you and guiding you so someone definitely i feel is also like um at a distance 21 is the number of the world card in traditional tarot the major arcana so I do feel like this is someone who has been going through uh, enormous change. They have a deeper, more profound uh, understanding and perspective on life now because they've been watching you from a distance and they have been learning, beloved. So this is very beautiful. They, they know enough to know they got to come correct. Trust. <laughs> so whoever this is, they come in correct. So look at that. They think you're the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. We got 22. So this is like divine feminine, divine masculine energy, just like I was picking up. 22 is still the four. So that's the divine masculine, the emperor. And remember, we got 67. This is what we're clarifying. That's four also. So this is someone who has been really opening up their heart chakra. Um, they've also learned to find balance within themselves. They are emotionally in equilibrium. So they're not just all logic like they may have been in the past. Which is why spirit was like, look, you need to kill that ego because it's not working for you. It's not cute. Somebody definitely did just that. That's the epiphany they had. Like, oh, this is what drew, you know, this is what's driving, um, you know, certain people away from me. And that's why they said, okay, let me check myself, you know. Um, but this yin-yang shows, you know, balance, equilibrium, harmony. And this is your energy. This is also someone who feels like you bring balance. You know, you are their yin to their yang. You are their yang to their yin. You are their cosmic companion, their spiritual partner. And they're going to be very active, very proactive, very intentional. Because with physical activity, you know, that four is giving me, like I said, the four of pentacles where somebody... Has been, they've been thinking about this all night. <laughs> they've been thinking about this all. They've been waiting for you at the door. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this is what they've been doing. They've been, they've been planning this ish they whole life. Like, this is serious. Serious business. And we got synchronicity here. 21, 22. You know, so they definitely feel like this connection is very, very synergy. You know, it's like, it's synergetic if you will you know there's 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 a lot of signs and synchronicities this person may be seeing as well you know which is like you know message, message, message you know that could be your energy too but this is just beautiful energy of like harmony you know so let's tap in we're going to clarify these messages 
Divine Spirit, of Love and Light. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. I see somebody going to be taking some action, beloved. And remember, I saw that Eight of Wands, and this is 17. That's eight. So somebody's definitely taking action. Whoever was, uh, you know, trying to trying to play uh, hard to get or trying to play uninterested or was in denial. Well, not no more. They realized denial was not just a river. Beloved. So let's tap in. Let's see. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. All right. My beautiful Scorpios. Oh, how I've missed you all. Let's tap in. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. Can't make this up. Caring connection. Caring connection, beloveds. Somebody that's going to come in and be, what did I say? Nurturing. Intentional. This is somebody that's going to gift you with flowers. And it could go both ways. Men love some a beautiful bouquet of flowers too. Ladies. Hint, hint. You know, for the fellas speaking on their behalf but this is a beautiful energy and this is the number 14 14 reduces to 5 as we know 5 and 4 reduces to 9 so this could be someone as I said who does see you as that wish fulfillment because that's what I was getting when I added the thir you know this uh, 13 with that thir 31 and uh, which is both 448 and then this 1 makes it 9 so this person is without a question or a shadow of a doubt they care about you. You know, it's one thing to love someone, but when you care for someone, you care for their well-being. You know, you care for how they're doing. This is somebody that has learned to be intentional. You know, that 14 reduces to 5. That 5 is all about, you know, learning. Learning how to show up, you know, perhaps in a relationship. Maybe this is somebody who's always been very distant, very cold. We have Sade Paradise. So what did I say? This person, and if you look at these two, it's like, you know, they, they, they're just like, you know, kind of like in some beautiful, it looks like they're in a park, you know, could have taken her on like a beautiful little park, maybe to a little vineyard, you know, but it's like paradise, you know, it looks like he's setting her up for a proposal, you know, she has the bouquet of flowers, and it just looks like he's, he's going to propose, because that 14, the Hierophant, is also about marriage and commitment. You know, so I just really feel like this person, when they think of you, they feel like you're, you know, the epitome of love. You know, when they envision themselves in a marriage or in a healthy relationship or connection or commitment, they can see that very clearly with you, Scorpio. You know, because they see that you're very caring and you're very nurturing and that makes them want to you know, reciprocate that gesture. But you are attracting very powerful connection. Remember I said victory, I was seeing the six of wands, a very victorious and, and, and beautiful breakthrough. So there's a victory ahead. Someone has victoriously killed their ego. They hushed the ego. They quieted, you know, the noise in their own mind. And that one, see that, that 28 reduces to one. I feel someone is wrapping up a cycle because they finally realize their own worth and value. You got to love you first. That 30, that three and that 19 reduces to four. You got to love you first, first and foremost. That's why that one was there, you know, in with the um, 11 individuality. I was saying how you and the person that you're attracting, you got to work on you first. That's, that's working on the self. You got to heal thyself in order to love thyself, in order to know thyself, in order to know what you're deserving of, in order to know what you don't want, period. And that's what your person has been doing, hence teaching and learning. There's a victory ahead with this person, I feel. Like this person is really going to come toward you. Like I just see like the chariot and I'm hearing like horses just like, you know, galloping and running. And I'm hearing that in my mind's eye and I'm seeing the dust kicking up, you know, very powerful imagery in my mind's eye and I'm literally seeing like a black stallion and a white horse I'm literally seeing so it's really like chariot vibes this person's you know it's almost as if like now they're very confident you know this three is associated with the solar plexus and that solar plexus is really about your confidence your strength 
you know, your wisdom, your wisdom. So it's like they know who they are. So they're going to come in very assertively now, which is why they're being strategic. You know, they learned. They learned something here. Wow. I was just talking about the third chakra and look what we got. Archangel Shamua. Thank you, angels and ancestors. I love when that happens. That's beautiful. Look at that. I love it. in the 37. See that? So they're showing the work you did. You know, you took the necessary time to work on you. You know what I'm saying? 37 and 37. That's how you got to this place because you took that time out. So they're mirroring your energy literally throughout this whole reading because I'm about to pull their card and look what showed up. That's powerful. Very powerful. So let's tap in. Why is this three creativity and 19 pride here? Thank you, spirit. Thank you so much. So we got a couple of messages and look at that. Door to values open, beloveds. So there is, a, oh my goodness. Ah, look who's here. Archangel Mikael. Now I know in the beginning I was saying that this is a sacred union because I was feeling like your angels and your ancestors were conspiring on both sides to bring this union into fruition. And sure enough, Archangel Mikael is here and look what he is dealing. He's, he's getting rid of all of the haters. Remember I was saying like you got some haters. They hate and they some of these people don't even know what they hating on you for. You know what I'm talking about? They hating you because you shining so bright. And just as I said, when you shine bright, beloved, you know, you're going to cast shadows. And this is not only applicable to you, but this is also whomever you are attracting. As I said, negative energy can come from either your side, from the cipher, you know, your own cipher, or from the person you're attracting their side. And this is their energy. But there's some hostile energy. And But look who's here. I love Archangel Mikael. This energy don't play he, he cuts karmic cords, yokes, hexes, spells. He will protect you. And look at that, the karma, the contract. Someone is wrapping up a contract with someone, which is why I feel like maybe they, there was no um, action in the past. There was no... Give me one moment. My son is doing a little too much right now. Thank you. Sorry about that. So, yeah, this person definitely is um, dealing with some sort of perhaps a divorce, maybe they're separating from someone. But if you see clearly, Archangel Mikael is here protecting this union. You see what I'm saying? Somebody is coming in with their with their sword up and Archangel is sitting there watching the whole thing and trust Karma Dharma. With this Hicks here, I do feel like this is really saying like someone's marriage is dissolving because the six is giving me like the lovers. And with this hostilities here, you know, remember I was picking up like arguments and, you know, somebody being in a situation where there was like arguments and beef and drama and negativity because it's falling on what you're attracting, the person you're attracting to you. I feel like this is what they were dealing with, you know, and what they're cleaning up, the cycle they're cleaning up, they're cleaning it up house just like you had to clean up house. And I feel like this person has learned a lot. And I also feel like you may have, you know. Archangel Mikael, both of you may have Archangel Mikael really protecting this union because just as I suspected earlier, it's like when you have a spiritual partnership, it's it's deeper than just love connection. It's like there's work here for you both to do collectively. And that is what is showing up in the cards. And you will be rewarded for your hard work, for your efforts. Um, this is on the bottom of the deck. And so what we have also that flew out is we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Fourth chakra is what? The heart chakra. Didn't I mention that as well? And then we also have community seven. So this is your spirit team. This is your support system. These are the people in your life. If you look, there's orbs. So the community is really the people around you in close, um, you know, whether you realize it or not, like your ancestors, the people that have been protecting you from the spirit realm that have been like aligning you with your purpose aligning you with your per your person um what we have here is kill a pre kill a priest and this is called um pagan so when you were going through a lot of 
you know, your dark side night of the soul journey or when you was going through your healing process because you took that time out to heal thyself. You've learned again how to love thyself. Some of you all really had, you know, some sort of belief system that just was not serving you. You know, you, you were thinking in a very negative uh, way about your circumstance or about yourselves. Um, there was a lot of lack mentality. And I feel like, you know, maybe that kind of really... Um, took a toll on self-love like you really didn't show yourself the love you deserved and I feel with guidance you know your ancestors began to really uh, give you the support you know really show you uh, who you are you paid attention um, to your dreams perhaps you started to have very profound dreams um, with this 10 11 um, that reduces to uh, three and seven, which is 10 again. So seven and 38, that's 11, that's two, that breaks down to two, that's nine. Nine and 37 is 10 again. So it's like spirit is literally saying that whatever ending it was necessary, it was a part of your healing process. It's like you didn't go through anything, you grew through the experience. Nothing happened to you, it happened for you. And it was your ancestors that kept you keeping it pushing because as I said some of you all could have been finding feathers some of you all could have been having a lot of synchronized events take place maybe sensations like your nose tingling ears ringing eyes twitching hands itching um, maybe you were seeing certain number synchronicities certain animal totems could have been just appearing um, but this is a very very beautiful message of showing how you know some ending that you've experienced um, it really is is the catalyst to you being who you are today and spirit is proud of you which is why you about to get rained on beloved you about to get rained on the door to value is opening up and that's why i was saying i was seeing sunshine shining and and this is really like you know going to make you um feel even more uh financially secure um, you know, and, and, and stable, uh, but you definitely will be rewarded for what you have been learning in this healing process. That's beautiful. So spirit, why is 57 teaching and learning here for what's hidden in the energy? May I have a message of love and light spirit. Thank you, spirit. Beautiful. And then we have the thinking man. So this is very interesting. See that? So 23, and then we have the number 46. So someone is learning. Now, if you look, she has this big old headdress on and she's bound and stuck, you know. And so this is what you had to learn from. You had to learn to not allow yourselves to be gaslit, to be confused, and to also see beyond the veil. To not allow, you know, the, the negative Nancys, the Debbie Downers, um, you know, to, to distract you or to confuse you. Um, because this keeps you bound and stuck. You can't really make um, any decisions when your mind is 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 overstimulated with with the the outside noise. So this is really you know how you've learned to really work on yourself. Maybe someone you're attracting uh, to you. What's hidden is someone is is really feeling confused and conflicted. That five and that three that the 57 reduces to 12 that's three that's like the eight of swords and remember i was feeling whoever or whatever you're dealing with um there is some level of confusion or being stuck in two minds um having to make a decision and that is another reason why this eight uh hostilities is here so it's almost as if somebody is trying to keep someone bound to them and they're, you know, being very manipulative in this process because this 46 reduces to one. The one is associated with the magician. And if you see here, he's like man he's manipulating something in his hand. And what he's manipulating is perhaps someone's energy, you know, you know, maybe sending someone psychic attacks, making someone, you know, be self-conscious, doubt themselves, have insecurities. But this makes someone else feel very tied very bound very restricted and i feel this is a lesson that someone has has to learn 
So let's tap in. And we got Megatron here, six chakra. Every chakra I've mentioned, every card damn near I've mentioned has come out. So six chakra is here. So spirit is saying, like, use your first eye to see whoever this person is. I do feel like they're going to see. And with Archangel Mikael here, he, he's not taking no shorts. He's definitely going to deal with that person. And we have um, Casey and Jojo. This is uh, the life song. So someone in someone's life um is definitely this is uh I'm, I'm just getting someone familiar so someone's dealing with someone that they're familiar with that's manipulating their energy and remember we have this hostilities card and that 23 and that three from the 57 which breaks down 12 is eight 26 is eight so whoever they're your person's dealing with they're very hostile they're very upset very very frustrated um because this person is choosing to walk away. They're making a decision to leave. They're making a decision to part ways. Let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see. So why? I want to get one more card for this 57 teaching and learning and all tied up. Why is this all tied up here with the teaching and learning? Even though I broke it down so eloquently just now, I want to just get another message, Spirit. Let me get one more message for 57 teaching and learning and all tied up. And then we're going to wrap it up. Get a message of love and light. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have Angel of Love. So it's just a matter of time. We got 49. See that? The heart chakra yet again. And this is also showing that this is a masculine energy. So with these cards, these are the cards that flew out. So we have the temple path. So there's obviously, you know, someone that wants to return, someone who could envision, as I said, you know, marriage. You know, this whole reconciliation. Um, but there's secrets, you know, and some of their secrets are what they're working through. You know, they're learning to confront their fears. Uh, but this is someone whose emotions uh, run very deep for you. This is what's hidden. Um, and they have attachments, just as I said. And that's why this uh, six contract card is here. Because whomever they're atta attached to um, is has grown very hostile. Instead of letting someone go... Um, it's like they're choosing to be difficult. Uh, if, it, if someone is going through some sort of divorce proceedings, it's like, you know, the other person is probably not signing documents or probably asking for things that they really don't want, but they just want to be difficult, like full custody of the children when they know damn well, you know, they should just be, you know, it should be just joint custody. Um, but it's like someone's being very petty. Someone's dealing with some of their own mess as well because you see this person is you know really looking at this mask so it's like they're identifying that they've been living in an illusion you know because look at this this 57 this is literally this card here 57 and then five and the seven there 25 reduces to seven and then 57 so someone is literally learning you know and they're learning because they've watched you do your inner work so you have to confront your fears. You have to confront your shadow. You know, as I said in the beginning, you know, the more you shine, the more shadows you will cast. And that's literally this here. Someone's realizing that they have some healing to do. They have some work to do. And they are doing it. I see that they are doing it. And look what we have. Fifth chakra, Archangel Mikael. Didn't I say somebody's going to open up that throat chakra, beloved? Here it is. Spirit told me there was more that needed to be expressed. That one card wasn't enough to, to really, um, you know, um, expound, you know, on, on um, what's hidden. But this person will eventually, once they break free from whatever these attachments are and get out of their own head and cut themselves free from whatever this hostile energy is, they will open up their throat chakra. And I do feel like this is going to be a message of love. You know, like this is something unexpected. I feel like you're not going to be um, expecting what this person has to say. And we have Mary J. Blige, everything. You know, and so this person will reveal everything, will confess everything they've been feeling, everything they've been desiring with that 8-8. Eight, eight. They do see you as a wish fulfillment. Perhaps this will be like your wish fulfillment, like you both are each other's wish fulfillment. I definitely see abundance and prosperity here. This is beautiful. And with this angel of love, this is like just more 
more love, more more confirmation that you know the angels are conspiring to bring someone very special, someone that truly uh, matches your fly, your vibration, your frequency, your energy. Um, and that's exactly what I was feeling because I feel like when your heart chakra is opened, um, you're going to attract someone that's also, you know, who's also open to love. So let's tap in. This is going to be the last message and then we're going to wrap it up. All right. My spirit of love and light. Look at that. Look at the hate. Look at the hate. Didn't I say? People be hating, beloved. I said somebody's going to be hating on this union and it could come from not only your side, your cipher. This is the devil himself. Deceit, lies, trickery. This is that person. That person is dealing with a snake. Because this 25, this is what's hidden. Remember the moon. This is the goddess of the moon. And this is that same person that you're attracting is attached to. So whoever that is, remember I was saying the devil manipulating something. This is the same person that was the thinking man or woman that was manipulating something in their hand. And look at that red. That red is the color of uh, fire, anger. Um, it's literally the color like Mars. If you think of the planet Mars, it's red. It's known as the Lord of War. So this is someone that has a lot of disdain, contempt, anger, very malicious energy, someone who speaks with a forked tongue, someone who will do anything. You see how he's almost blended in the color of his clothes, so he's a shapeshifter. Very deceitful. And look at this. Why? Because you shining. Because you're self-sufficient, independent, self-reliant. Because you're grounded, balanced, in alignment. Because you're unbothered. Because you're living a lap of luxury. Because you are who you are you have achieved major success and you're also in tune so this energy is like i told y'all like you're, you're gonna cast the more you shine didn't i say that look you can't shine any brighter than this divine feminine divine masculine regardless of the gender on the card can't shine any brighter and that's why you're going to you're naturally going to cast shadows and there it is what do you know? Very interesting. I want to get one more card. And they're also hating because you're successful and ished. It's like everything is just working out in your favor. Everything is just manifesting in real time. And your strength is also something, you know, that they are very um, envious over. Because it's like, it's, as I said, whatever they're throwing at you, it's like you're not, you're not catching it. You know, whatever triggers you used to have, you no longer have them. And so that's why this person sits and studies. And when they see you get into whatever this union is, this love connection, beloved, they're going to be even more ticked off. And this could be coming from your side or from the side of the person you're attracting. So let's tap and let's get some more messages. Let me get one more message to, man uh, to clarify this 8 abundance, 44 environment, and this 25 deceit card for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. They have a message of love and a message of light. Yeah, you outwit. You outsmart that devil. This is what you've learned to do. You learn to play chess, not checkers. See that? And there goes the butterfly. Remember in the other reading I was seeing, um, I mean in the um, other video that was playing, the butterflies were really sticking out to me. And if you look closely, there's a butterfly there flying. And it's leading her up the stairs, which speaks to your ascension. This person is jealous because of where you're headed. You're headed towards some sort of new level. You already leveled up. And look at all the books you've already read. So that speaks to, you know, the application of knowledge you have been, you know, obtaining. It's now wise don't. You're, you're very in tune. You're very tapped in. You're on the frequency. And you don't fall for the okie doke. And look at that. This is the world. I mentioned that card as well. All right. Uh, my apologies. My daughter came out into the reading and I was trying to wave her off so she wouldn't be in the screenshot. But she still came out anyway. And I was like, you still going to walk through the damn reading. But um, but we're done. I just wanted to let you guys know, like, yeah, the uh, everything I've said with the world card uh, being here on the bottom of the deck definitely will indicate that. Um, this is someone from a distance um, that's at a distance. This is also showing me like there's been a lot of work, you know, a lot of individual work, 
um, that you have made, that this person is making, and I do feel like it's going to lead, you know, towards one another. But this is very beautiful, very profound energy. I was so not trying to make this a love reading, but the cards that came out are the cards that came out. Um, but it's deeper than love, though. You know, um, I see a spiritual partnership, which is what initially came out in the beginning of the reading but this is beautiful scorpios i really truly hope this message resonates with you if you found that it did please be kind hit the like button hit the share button definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever i upload if you are returning you already know what it is beloved's love is love is love if you are new i hope my energy my vibe the way that i read uh all resonates correlates with your energy and vibration and you stay a while but until next time Send love and light. Remember, do not get distracted by the distractions. Where your energy goes or where your attention goes, energy flows. So uh, stay grounded, balanced, and in alignment, beloveds. Ashe, love you all. Speak to you later. Peace, love, and light. And peace, power, and protection.